Going good? Yep. Hey, what's up? This is Jake here in Jake's shop. We're gonna do a little Camaro update right now. Got some sound deadening, Matt. Now, I know there's a lot of different brands out there. There's some name brand stuff. I actually just found this stuff online. And I've been pretty happy with it so far. There's a lot of different places you can sound deaden, and, and I've actually done a lot of their sound deadening on this car. Uh, it had a full lizard, uh, lizard skin application, both of their sound deadening spray on stuff as well as their heat uh, resistant spray stuff. Earlier videos way a long time ago. So anyways, I'll show you what this mat's about. Okay, doing a little sound deadening mat here. Installation. And this is always a good time to get the kids involved. How you doing, buddy? Good. What are you doing right now? Uh, well, I'm getting the um, pre-molding the uh, sound deadening uh, mat things. Okay, cool. And then what do you do after that? Uh, I believe you uh, take off the paper, uh, stick it on, and then roll it. And then roll then it. Where's roll the roller? It. Uh, I left it in the door earlier. Oh, okay, cool. Do you ever use any heat, like a heat gun? Uh, yeah, to pre-mold it, it helps to uh, use the heat gun. Yeah, but you don't want to get it too hot, right? Yeah, I got it too hot earlier and the paper stuck, so we had to let it cool down for a bit. Okay, cool. Well, it's looking good. Yeah. I went ahead and bought a full box of it. The sheets are approximately 20 inches wide by about 30 inches long. There's 36 square feet total in this box. And a couple things I like about this product, they do offer a couple different thicknesses. This is their 80 mil stuff. And, and when you get the box, I mean, it is really heavy. It, it's really just, it's just like any other sound deadening mat, I guess you should say. It's, 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 it's fairly thin, it's easy to apply. It's got a sticky back on it, right? It's, it's pretty sticky and it's shiny on one side. Cutting it with the scissors is way easier than with a knife. It does cut with a knife and it makes it go pretty quick with the scissors though. I've got helpers in here today. All right, so Caden's gonna show us how we install one of these little patches here. So what are you doing right now, Caden? Taking a measurement? Yeah, I'm taking measurements. Okay, what do you got for width then? I think I got about six inches. Now stick it down in the low spot. I think it's gonna be closer to seven. Six and a half maybe? Yeah, I think it's six. Six and a half? half. Okay, what's the length? The length is... From the seat pan to the edge, and then go up the edge a little. Go up the edge a bit? Yep. I think... About 18? Yeah, 18. Okay, let's go cut a piece. So okay, explain to us what you're doing here. So you're gonna take a measurement? Yeah, I'm going to take a measurement, so... 18... Do um, the short side on the short side. So yeah. that was six and a half. Six and a half. Square comes in kinda handy, huh? Yeah. Six and a half. Make two marks so you make a straight line. Yeah. I'll make one farther up. Okay, okay. now what was the other dimension, you remember? Uh, it was 18. Yeah, 18. That's good enough. Stuff's pretty flexible, it's pretty malleable. All right, how you cutting it? With the uh, scissors. Now that's a pretty nice set of scissors. Probably any yeah. scissors would cut it. How hard is it to cut? Well, it's harder than paper, but not like cardboard. Okay. I mean, it's a low light cardboard, but... And those scissors make it easier, don't they? Yeah, they do. I'm not sure how using a knife would be. Notice when we were using the knife earlier, it gets a little gummy. It's doable. But the blade gets stuff in it. Yeah. Okay, cut the top off. Yep. All right, that looks good. All right, let's go put it in. Yep. Okay, now remember before, Caden, when we did it, kind of pre-mold it a yeah. little bit, just a little bit of heat, right? Yep, a bit of heat. Should I oh, the get the edge down? See the Camaro has still. <laughs> Got buffing compound on the side, though. Should I get the edge down in the uh, hole? Yeah, get it, yeah, get it along that subframe connector nice and tight. That's yeah. where we're probably gonna wanna start it and then we'll let whatever subframe. leftovers run out. You know, if there's too much left over, we can always trim it off with the knife. Yeah. Kind of like putting in carpet. A little bit. Have you ever laid carpet in a house before? Have I? Yeah, oh. yeah. <laughs> built a few put a, houses. Put a, put a little bit of heat on it probably, huh? Yep. Nothing like a little Harbor Freight heat gun, right? And it's nice and warm out. If it was cold out, this would probably be a little harder. Huh. This 
shop is warm though. Yeah. All right, that's probably good, huh? Yeah. Okay, now what I remember what I was doing before, you peel part of the back off. Part of the. So start like. Yeah, pull like pull like three or four inches of that back out of the way, and then get your edge started. Right there, you go. Fold it under. And get your edge started where you like it. It's kind. Of, it's it's what you call pressure sensitive, right? Yeah. So when you put pressure on it, that's when it sticks. And then peel it out from behind itself, kind of like you're putting on a decal. Remember when we put the Firebird decal on the Trans Am back in the day? Yeah. Clayton and I did that together. Yeah. Kind of the same idea, right? Yep, get into those low spots and work it up. Perfect. I think we might need to come back a little bit later and get some of this. Maybe. No, it looks good. It's all under carpet. The idea is just for some sound deadening and keeping it tight is really key too. You know, the tighter you keep it, the better the carpet's going to look. You don't want a bunch yeah. of pockets under it. Okay, grab that roller uh, over here, but on the driver's side. Oh, yeah. Yeah, focus on the edges of it too. Make sure the edges are down nice and tight. Sometimes I'll stick a screwdriver in there using my fingers and kind of get those edges nice and tight. Yeah. Nice. Okay, cool. Well, we'll do yep. a bunch more of this. We'll show you what it looks like afterwards, right? Yeah. Okay, going ahead and wrapping up this installation. Caden did a great job, my 11 year old, of getting it all used up in some of the best places I thought to put it. There's information online on Noiko's website. This is the product uh, name of this. I don't think I stated it earlier. On some good places to put it. I didn't even bother looking at it. I know where I wanted to put it. You know, the more the better in a lot of situations with this stuff. I probably could have got a little more up into that firewall area. You know, I'm not too picky about it just because this thing's been fully lizard skinned with their application as well. So if anything, this is just a, a double covered situation. So 36 square feet total is what I used. Probably could get by a little bit more with an F body. If you've got a bigger truck or maybe a truck cabin might be enough, but if you've got a bigger truck or a van, you're gonna need a lot more than one case of this stuff. And I do not have much experience with Dynamat products. I know that they're very expensive and they work very similar, if not maybe a little better. They're probably a little easier to work with than this stuff, but this stuff is really easy to work with. Like I said, my 11 year old installed it all. I like this stuff with the aluminum backing on it as well. I think they also offer a product that has black here as well. It might not be, I don't know much about it, but you could look it up online. That's just Amazon special stuff, really. Uh, there's a bunch of other brands of, of different materials out there. I haven't experienced with them. You can look them up online. Kill Mat's another one. Uh, I forgot the other one. Anyways, it's all, there's a bunch more information, but I really like how this stuff worked. It turned out really easy to work with with the use of the scissors. So yeah, just a little quick Camaro update video and Hey, if you like this video at all, hit like and subscribe. Thanks.